to be successful as a real estate investor, uh, you need to be able to buy real estate below its market value. Now, in order to do this, you usually need to go to one of three sources. Uh, first and most common is to buy the property from a bank. So typically the bank will foreclose on a piece of real estate. Now it's very hard to buy the, the property at auction because the bank will usually buy it from itself at auction. But it will then put the property on the market and you can buy it directly from the bank. So this is the most common way of uh, buying real estate below its market value, but it comes with a lot of risks. So first of all, uh, the bank is going to have you sign a number of one-sided contracts, agreements, and waivers. So you have almost no legal recourse against the bank should anything go wrong legally in the transaction. Also, there's a real risk uh, of a title problem or a legal issue with the property that you're buying. So if anything went wrong in the foreclosure process, or if the previous owner had a lien or an encumbrance or some sort of issue with the property and it wasn't taken care of through the legal proceedings that allowed the foreclosure, then you could be stuck with that problem when you buy the property. Okay. Also, you're often required to waive your right to inspect the property uh, before you buy it. So again, you could be stuck with a substantial issue when you finally get into the house. So the next common way of getting real estate below its market value is to buy it from an estate. So what will happen is a person will own a piece of real estate, they'll pass away, the real estate is left to their family, and the family just doesn't want to go through the sale process. They don't want to hire a realtor. Uh, they don't want to go through the negotiations and the haggling and the contracts and so forth. They just want to get rid of the property. So if you're an investor and you can somehow find an estate in that situation, uh, often you could buy the property uh, below its market value if you have cash ready to do it. Uh, and often as part of the agreement, the investor will, uh, will pay the seller's legal fees uh, and the registry costs and so forth. And then lastly, uh, a way that's not so common, but I, I do see some of it. An investor can purchase the property either at a tax foreclosure or they can purchase it from the owner just prior to the, the owners uh, losing the house to a tax foreclosure. So obviously, if somebody's not paying uh, their real estate taxes, um, they either don't want the property or they can't afford to own the property. So if you're an investor and you can meet up with a, a person like this, sometimes you can make an agreement with them that you'll pay the back taxes, and then you'll give them some money for the real estate in exchange for the title to the house. So like I said, that's less common. Um, but I have seen it done and investors get great rates on the house uh, that they buy in those situations, right? So you can buy it from a bank, you can buy it from the state, or you can buy it through uh, a tax taking. Um, and those are the three most common ways I see investors get real estate below its market value.